<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great day, isn't it? It's a Inez, come up here. Come up here. Get Inez up here. Right here. Ladies and gentlemen, four days ago, the first lady of the land started a historic trip in Virginia, and for four days she has been visiting Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, and now Florida. She's here. She's a southerner, bred and born. She knows and loves the South. She's here. It's a historic occasion for us. Come on, Ez. It's a historic occasion for us to have a great lady in her own right, a gracious, lovely, and talented lady. We are proud that she can be here, and I am proud indeed to present to my home county the vivacious, the lovely, the wonderful first lady of the land, the wife of the President of the United States, for a historic trip which you will always remember, Mrs. Lyndon B. Johnson. Thank you, Congressman Bob Sykes. I've had a wonderful time traveling through the state of Florida this morning with your Governor Farris Bryant, your Senator George Smathers, many members of your delegation, and especially your own Congressman Bob Sykes, who is a, he's a wonderful guide to this part of the country. <laughs> and there's no need to tell you how hard he works for this, this district because Eglin Air Force Base and your five military installations speak for his work for his people. I'm glad to say my husband, Lyndon Johnson, has been able to help him on all of those. He's also told me about your blueberry bushes and your beautiful miracle strip where I would like to go and have a nice restful time, but that'll have to come sometime later on. <laughs> My main reason for coming on this trip, my friends of the South, is to say to you that we value you, we appreciate you, we need your help, and I wanted to say that all of you who have been with us, my heartfelt thanks. Ten months ago, on a most awful day that all of us remember, my husband became your president. And since then, his thoughts have been mainly three, to try to keep this country at peace based on firm strength, because that's what means the most to every mother and father and all the children here. His, his second thought has been to try to keep us on a course of stable prosperity. And I think all of us can say that these last four years of a democratic administration have been years of prosperity. <laughs> and his third thought is to seek uh, with a compassionate, practical plans to help those Americans still in need. I remember the wonderful welcome you gave Lyndon and me four years ago when we came to your city. I want to thank the bands. I want to thank all the children. And I want to introduce to you my own little girl, Lucy Baines. I'm thrilled to be here. 
I'm thrilled to be here. For one reason, I'm a Southerner among Southerners. But for more than that, for the fact that I've seen so many young people taking an active interest in this campaign and this election. Because I realize, as I know you all realize, that soon, probably sooner than we would like, we are going to have to take up the reins of government on our own. And what we learn now will make the kind of government we will lead. I have one, one plea, one thing, one hope that means so much to me. And this hope is that although we have the right to disagree, that our reason and our intellect that we have been able to achieve in a nation such as ours may guide us so that we may not be disagreeable. Thank you very much. Now, and now some gifts, some gifts for the first lady. And first of all, my wife, Inez, I want you to say hello to. Hello, everybody. Now some gifts for Mrs. Johnson. A, a hand, first from the Billy Bullegs group, a, a chest, a treasure chest of sand from the Miracle Strip. Ms. Johnson? Next, next a quilt, a quilt, next a quilt, handmade quilt selected from a countywide contest for the First Lady. Now, the, now a beautiful bouquet of flowers from Okaloosa County. All right, what's next? What is this? What is this? And for Lucy Bain, a gift from Crestview High School. Anybody else? Anybody else? No, All right, look. Yeah, George, George Smathers. Now, take a bow. Take a bow. Take a bow, Governor Ferris Bryant. Ferris, where are you? Come up here and take a bow. Ferris Bryant, say a word. It's wonderful to be here in Crestview and have the warmth and hospitality of this great area of Florida demonstrated to the First Lady of the United States. Congressman, it's a pleasure and a privilege to be with you. Now a word from your Senator, George Smathers. I know we're all pleased and happy to welcome into this state the gracious wife of the great president who's doing so much for our state and the nation. We're happy to have him. Thank goodness to see you all. Secretary of Commerce, Luther Hodges. I want to bring you greetings from North Carolina where we're going to vote Democratic because we're $1,200 a year better off than we were four years ago. Your former senator, now Congressman Claude Pepper. <clears throat> I know we're all honored to have here today the gracious first lady of the land, the wife of our president, and the wife of our great next president of the United States, President Johnson. Now, also on the train, Governor Buford Ellington. Congressman and Mrs. Bennett, Congressman and Ms. Matthews, Commissioner of Agriculture and Mrs. Connor, Mrs. Tom Bailey, and Mrs. Paul Rogers. Good to see all of you. Yeah. 